cleanup is only just beginning. Good evening. Thanks for letting us join you. I'm Ken Shocknick. And I'm Susie Sa. Our top story on KCAL 9 News at 10 is the UCLA flood. This is a live look at the scene of the water main break from Sky 2. The break that did all the damage. This hour it is finally capped, but it has left this huge crater on Sunset Boulevard that's going to take who knows how long to repair. The water main burst under Sunset Boulevard this afternoon right in front of Marymount High School. A river of water flowed downhill straight onto the UCLA campus. Tonight on KCAL 9 News at 10, we have live team coverage beginning with our Randy Page. Randy, you've been at the scene of this water main break almost since the outset. That's right, Ken, and we can now tell you the heavy equipment is beginning to roll in. This is when the hard work starts. But about seven hours ago, none of these vehicles or people would have dared to go near this place. The geyser erupted at 3.30 this afternoon in the middle of Sunset Boulevard on the northern border of the UCLA campus. Beneath it, a 93-year-old water main had ruptured, sending a surge of water more than 30 feet in the air. Drama student Quinn Halleck says he was riding his skateboard on sunset seconds before it started. He says he noticed the asphalt begin to buckle and an unworldly sound of crackling cement and rumbling water. Then the gusher broke through. I, I kind of didn't believe it at first because I didn't really know what was going on. And then finally I just see the water start pouring out and cement started falling everywhere. Nearby, drivers found themselves in the middle of the deluge as water poured down streets. This may look like a fountain, but it's actually the steps leading from UCLA's Poly Pavilion. From here, the water went cascading into nearby parking garages. Students trying to save their cars from the rising water became stranded themselves, prompting LA City Fire's Swift Water Rescue Team to move in and save them. LA City Fire Captain Jamie Moore describes one of those dramatic rescues. We've actually had somebody who was in the were in the water. They got swept off their feet, and with a current that was pushing them, they got trapped underneath their car. Our Swift Water Rescue Team pulled them out and rescued them. The Department of Water and Power said the water main had to be shut off gradually to prevent any sudden additional pressure from causing another line to rupture. So for more than an hour, the geyser continued to flood Sunset Boulevard. Slowly, the force of the water began to diminish, and about three and a half hours after it all began, the geyser turned to a trickle, leaving behind a crater that consumed most of Sunset Boulevard. The uh, water has been shut off. We'll now begin the process of repairs, uh, and that will go on through the night. So how much water was lost? The DWP estimates somewhere between 8 and 10 million gallons of water. But the most important number is the number zero. At the end of the day, there were no injuries. Live in Westwood, Randy Page, Cake on Nine News. Randy, you're so right, and it's encouraging to see those big trucks moving in. Let's continue our live team coverage. KCAL 9's Kevin Takumi, you've been flying in Sky 9 over this scene for hours. What's the very latest from your vantage point? Now, right now, DWP workers are pumping out the crater here that the uh, broken water main has left behind. Several hundred gallons that they need to pump out here before they can even get into the into the hole and start making repairs. The pipe itself that is broken is a 30-inch pipe, and the gash in it is about three feet long. All that water coming out, 36,000 gallons per minute that LA Fire Department was telling us that was coming out of this water main break. Sunset Boulevard remains shut down. Uh, City Councilman uh, Paul Coretz was telling us earlier that expected to be shut down throughout the night and even through the morning into the mid-morning afternoon hours. DDVP has a lot of work to do here. This crater encompasses from almost curb to curb here. They have significant amount of pavement damage that they need to repair here, and that's going to take quite some time throughout the night and once again throughout the mid-morning commute. That's the latest overhead. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Kevin, thank you so much for that. And KCAL 9's Brittany Hopper is outside one of the parking garages that flooded with new video Stand tonight. By. Brittany. <laughs> And this is parking structure seven behind me. It is been deemed unsafe. I can tell you we were down there earlier and it is just covered with water. I want us to walk over here earlier in the night. We were this is the area that we were in and this was where two cars were just submerged with in water. But as you can see now, just a very thick layer of mud. Many people that we talked to on campus, they just said to us that they've never seen anything like this. 
A cascade of water gushes downstairs that lead to one of the parking structures flooded. A number of my colleagues have their cars in the parking structure here and can't get out. Millions of gallons of water flooding UCLA's campus after a water main break. This is more water gushing down a different stairwell in another parking structure, looking more like a pool. Water so deep, we're told it was chest high. And someone came running in and just said that there was major flooding on campus and everyone should evacuate. Many students could be seen stranded, nowhere to go, as more water kept coming. I got back to class, had to walk across this water. Everybody's walking around with their shoes off. These two cars didn't make it. Luckily, the people inside did. One woman seen here pulling another woman on a bodyboard. Despite the major flooding, no one was hurt. I've never seen anything like this. Now, cleaning crews will be out here all day and night, but we don't know when this parking structure will be reopened and when people can actually go inside and get their cars out. For now, we are live in Westwood. Brittany Hopper, KCAL 9 News. All right, Brittany, thank you for that. Interesting pictures there. The flooding is a huge setback for the UCLA Bruins. The center court at Pauley Pavilion, such a storied and fabled place. It recently underwent more than $100 million worth of renovations. Now tonight appears to have been ruined. KCAL 9's Christine Leahy is live on campus to show us. And Christine, basketball and volleyball teams, it appears, they are going to have to go someplace else. Mm -hmm. That's right, Kent and Susie, I'm sitting in the stands now at Poly Pavilion so that you can get a look at the court behind me. There are facilities, department workers, contractors, even some students trying to soak up the water that's still on the court. If we can get a close in look, you can see that the court has already started to warp a bit. Uh, and while it looks like it's still very wet, it's actually much drier than it was just a few hours ago. Water rushing down the stairs of the main entrance to Poly Pavilion. Inside the court from the massive $136 million renovation from just two years ago, ruined. Volleyball nets stood in a massive puddle where the team was practicing as the water came in. So I talked to a volleyball player and she said when they were in there playing volleyball, water started coming down the rows of Poly Pavilion. Tonight, crews are working tirelessly to dry up the almost three inches of water sitting on top of the court. But fire officials tell me no matter how hard they work, the court is ruined. We just re, uh, redid this entire facility and to see it being flooded, you know, a year and a half later, it's just crazy. Anthony Curran was actually working with the track and field team on Drake Field when the flooding began, and he says the speed at which the water was coming in caused him to panic. Well, I was kind of freaking out. I go, how high could this lift? You know, we're at the lowest part on campus. You know, the, there's dorms up above us. The, the major part of the campus is to the east, so we're right in the middle of it so it could fill up. Well, UCF, UCLA Athletic Director Dan Guerrero did release a statement tonight. He said they're still working to gather information and they're going to reassess the situation in the morning as far as when they can get this repaired and a new court back in here. Uh, live at Poly Pavilion, I'm Christine Leahy, KCAL 9 News. We'll be watching closely. Christine, thank you so much. Now, as we reported, Sunset's going to be closed tomorrow. We've got continuing coverage on this huge water main break in Westwood near the UCLA campus. For your commute tomorrow, to get the very latest live traffic updates, make sure you watch tomorrow. CBS 2 News between 4.30 and 7 a.m. will get you where you're going.